welcome back in exercise 4 we try to understand what are ip table commands the command ip tables and how it will be used to no ip tables that are existing on the router and uh, to edit ip tables to create ip tables how what kind of commands to use so we know that uh, plab rtr01 is router on our network and we try to connect to it in the first step so just drag this image and click on admin and your password is p capital a s s w in the place of o we will be using 0 rd click sign in 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 ubuntu ubuntu is the operating system that is running on the router and uh, we open terminal and to to know what are the ip tables that are existing on the router we will be using this command sudo ip tables hyphen l hyphen nv okay so let us use that command ip tables hyphen capital l hyphen nv okay is asking for password same password p capital e s s w o is 0 or d now you can see these are some of the uh, ip tables that are existing on the router okay so let us try with the next activity we we, we want to drop the input from 192.0.2 okay So we create a IP table. Let us let me try with that one. Sudo IP table input i minus i minus i. The input type is input. Since we are getting when we are getting input, okay, input from X Y Z IP address. Your source port is address is one ninety two point. 168.0.2 space decision should be drops done now we have created a ip table so let me check whether ip table is updated in the list or not you can see that here it is the ip table that is created and uh, we drop whatever the input we get from from 192.168.0.2 okay so this is the source and whatever the destination it is it should be dropped so now what is 192.168.0.2 it is pla dc01 Okay, from that, what we try to do is we try to ping some device like 192.1. It's a router. Okay, we try to ping router. Okay, command ping 192.168.0.1. So it should be failed. Okay, you can see that request is timing out. So now it means that. No packets were reached when something is tried from this one. When it is passing through the router, nothing is forwarded. Everything is dropped. Okay, this is how it happened. Now let us see what is the state of it. Uh, policy accepted. Accept one one twenty three packets. Okay, twenty eight packets. Are used by this one, and all packets were dropped. Okay, this this kind of information can be identified. How many packets went and how many packets not reached? Now again, let us go to Windows because we didn't like uh, we haven't configured this one. So when we try from this one, it should reach the destination. So let me try this one. Uh, Oh, I need to ping it, right? So let me ping. 
192.168.0.1 okay pin 192.168.0.1 should be a successful pin yes it is a successful pin because the ip table allows packets from this source okay router allows packets from this source so it's successfully done the ping is successful now let me try with uh, so what i do is like uh, before like when i try to con establish connection between uh, dc01 and win10 there is a proper successful established connection so ping was successful now let me try to connect with connect this one again according to me it should be a failure because the ping should pass through the router okay so as it will be attempting through the router it will be denying it so again request time though so we know that it will become unsuccessful okay so now <laughs> even if it is tried for 1.1 it will be unsuccessful one whatever the input we get from this source 0.2 it should be a failure in that way now let us go to LVTR or zero one, and uh, let us check. So the total number of packets that are transferred from it is changed. Now let us create one more uh, rule, IP table rule. Sudo IP table. input okay. 192.68.0.2 minus j and uh, drop command this is regarding the input type forward and uh, the ip table says now when some input from this source is received when if it is asking for the forward then it it should be a drop command okay so you can cross check the same command updated in the list or not okay so we can see that it is updated regarding forward command and uh, we see that uh, not much uh, difference between these two things these two rules okay ip table rules so however let me try with 192.168.1.1 from pc this one In the last attempt it was successful now let us let me try that so now it is timed off so it is unsuccessful <laughs> now let me open windows 10 and uh, by connecting a uh, router plav rtr01 now you can see that it opens the main page of router okay from where you can configure it now let us go to the router and we create it we create another ip table which drops connection for port 80 okay sudo 
చూడు ఐ ఫీ ఫేబర్ ఫోర్ట్ ఆన్ ఫోర్ట్ సిసిపి డెస్టినేషన్ now we have a command command is successfully set now let us try with the command to display list of list of ip table configuration now you can see that new ip address is also ip table is created now let us try refreshing the access page of router on windows 10 so now it should not get connected to the router so if it is successful we take a screenshot of it screenshot of it and by this exercise 4 is done now take a screenshot of it by this we got a successful testing of the ip table so that's it all about ip table command and how it will be used on router In the next video, we work on exercise 5 of the lab 5-1.